I'm Stefania Chaplin and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I'm going to show you how to evaluate a binary and produce a report in .NET using IQ Server. I'm going to start off in my IQ Server and I'm going to go to the Organizations and Policies section. Once I'm there, you can see on the left, I've created an application called .NET Example. On the right hand side, I click the action button and near the bottom, evaluate binary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an individual binary to scan. I can also produce this report using continuous integration if I want. I'm going to put it at build stage and I'm going to upload. What's happening is it's taking cryptographic hashes of the binary dependencies. It then takes those hashes and matches it with the Sonotype data service. Sonotype data service will then return enriched metadata about every component, and then this will then be evaluated against the custom policies. Now you can see my report is ready. As you can see, it's my .NET example scanned today at build stage. I have information about the components scanned, so I can see 76 component identifiers of which 78% of all components are identified. So that means it's 78% open source and that yellow, that's proprietary. I also have information around policy alerts, security alerts and license alerts. When I click on the next tab, policy violation, here I have a software bill of material for every component within this application. If I click into a component, I can get enriched metadata about the component. So you can see here, I've got ID, version, information around licensing, and then I've got these two oranges. So I've got policy threat, a number seven within two policies, and CVSS score. So that means there's a known and documented vulnerability associated with this version of this component. I can also expand the histogram on the right and I can fairly easily see, although this version is vulnerable, if I go to the next one across, 0.1.1, all of a sudden my oranges have disappeared and I have two NAs. This means that I can then fix it within the IDE. We would always recommend regression testing even with a 0.1 change. Another area Sonotype really adds value is with our vulnerabilities information. So when I click Info, here I have enriched metadata provided by our Sonotype data security research team. I have the initial description from the CVE, but then we have our Sonotype explanation. So even more information and much more human readable. So I can see the Microsoft ASP.NET Model View Controller is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. I can see detection guidelines, so the application is vulnerable by using this component and processing user input, so that could spark an internal conversation. Are we processing user input? And we also have a recommendation, so we recommend upgrading to a version of this component that is not vulnerable, which is exactly what we did with the slider previously. We've also given what Microsoft recommends as well, and we will always show our working. So you can see here, attack. This is no longer a Sonotype site. This, apps, this website is on the internet and it's titled Exploiting MS14059 because sometimes cross-site scripting is fun. So obviously there is a pre-baked Metasploit out there. So that's why it's very important to know what open source you're using and what vulnerabilities are associated with it. I can look at things from just a security perspective, so I can see all the different error codes, and also licensing. As you can see, sonotype errors, that's where our human data team have enriched the data and provided the information. And even with the normal CVEs, we still provide explanation, detection, recommendation, and our working as well. <laughs>